Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So after I published my previous video on my AMD builds, I got a lot of comments saying that the performance was a bit underwhelming for such a machine and that I should try to update the kernel. So I did that on elementary OS, but it didn't change much. I then went a different route and switched distributions entirely. So let's take a look at how this changed the performance. The distribution. I mostly stayed on Debian or Ubuntu-based distributions, and I am very familiar with the Debian packaging system, but it was time to try something new, so I went for Manjaro Budgie. Why? Because Manjaro has been highly recommended, and also because I don't know much about Budgie. I decided to wipe out the whole disk and go all in. Everything worked fine after a reboot and was recognized perfectly. I'll talk about Budgie and Manjaro in another video, but I like the simple experience. And since Steam was pre-installed, I started downloading and playing the games to see what performance gain I could expect. Gaming Vermintide ran perfectly through DXVK, with no additional configuration needed, and reached an almost perfectly stable 60fps at max settings. I couldn't even run Vermintide with DXVK before on elementary OS, I had to start it with Wine D3D11 enabled, and that only gave me performance in the low 20 FPS with medium settings enabled, so that was terrible. This shows all the difference a system can make, since both distros use the same version of Mesa, AMD GPU and Steam, as well as Proton, the only difference was the kernel version. I was pretty happy about this, as you can imagine, so I tried Deathwing as well. Space Hulk Deathwing just didn't run correctly on elementary OS in full screen mode. You had to run it in windowed mode with all the problems that could entail and the reduced size of the screen. On Manjaro, it ran perfectly in full screen mode by default, at max settings and 60 FPS most of the time, apart from some occasional stutters when loading a new asset or shader. As I understand it, that's a drawback of DXVK and it does not occur after you've cached set object or shader. Then I moved to native games. Dawn of War 3, at a mix of max and high settings, got around 45 FPS with Vulkan enabled, and without Vulkan in the same settings, I got about 56 FPS. This is a big improvement over the same game at the same settings on elementary OS, which could reach about 40 to 45 FPS without Vulkan at the same settings. Total War Warhammer 2, at the same settings as on elementary OS, got a little more stable 60 FPS in the map and during battles, which is good but not a major performance improvement. I didn't try CSGO again since it ran fine before at around 100 to 120 FPS and I didn't really expect a major improvement here or at least I wouldn't have noticed it on my 60Hz screen. Video rendering. Now I took my KDE vs GNOME video and rendered it with Caden Live. I used the higher quality MP4 settings as well as 12 threads instead of the 6 I used before on elementary OS. The video completed its rendering in about 50-51 minutes, which is about the same as elementary OS with 6 threads, so I did not notice any gain here. As a lot of comments pointed out, Caden Life isn't hardware accelerated, so it only uses the CPU to render videos, and there's not much you can change to that, even with a little bit better drivers or a little more recent kernel. So to conclude this video, I was skeptical of a distro change in terms of performance, but I was wrong. With Manjaro, I got a huge performance boost with gaming at least, and Proton games run way better with DXVK, and native games also gain a few frames per second just by switching distributions. Whether that's due to the change of desktop environment from Pantheon to Budgie, or to the distro itself and its more up-to-date libraries and tools, I don't know yet, but I couldn't be happier. Video rendering is still snappier than on my older machine, even though switching distros didn't change a thing here. So I'll stick with Manjaro for the time being, and will give my impressions on it, as well as on Budgie in another video. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm off to play some games. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!